first direction down below says check to see if you can factor out a GCF. So we're going to look at this entire thing and do the upside down division. Is there a number we can factor out of each of those two? two. So we're going to divide this by two. And instead of writing it underneath, I'm going to write it to the side because I want you to show that it's going to end up over here in front of these parentheses. And we're going to use the space underneath to factor it out. What is 14x squared divided by 2? 7x squared. Minus 6x. 6x. Minus 1. So our answer is going to be 2 times 2 polynomials that are tri uh, binomials that we're going to get from this. We now have 7x squared minus 6x minus 1. The 7x squared goes here, right? And the negative 1 goes here. We now have to come up with something times something that's going to give us 7x squared that's going to end up giving us a negative 6x in the end. So I want you to think, this is the thinking on the side, I'm going to do it in pencil. This number is some number times some number that equals negative 1. Okay. There's only one possibility, which is? One. We have to have one that is positive and one that is? Negative. Right? Uh -huh. So I'm going to make this one the positive one and this the negative one. It doesn't really matter. And then this is also a negative. So we're going to have this and these have to be one of each, right? Okay, this number up here is going to end up being a positive, and this number down here is going to end up being a negative. But the 6 Still negative. is going to come from this. So this one's a little bit more challenging than what we've been working with, but this has to have a 7x up here to get the 7x squared. Okay. Are you starting to see oh, the detective work yeah, here? Yeah, 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 yeah. And this over here is going to have to be what? And now we know that this one is 1x. And what's this one? Does negative 7x plus 1x give us our negative 6x? Yes. So this is 7x plus 1. And this is just x minus 1. It's a little bit more challenging when there's a number in front here. It just means that this part here comes from this, not just from these sometimes. We're going to keep going with this on the inside. Um, I didn't read through all the directions because honestly you've been doing a lot of these. Check to see if we can factor out a GCF. That was the first thing we did. And by the way, the answer with this is this whole thing. The two in front of it stays with it. We would write the squared term in the top left box, which we did. We would write the constant in the bottom right box, which is the negative one, which we did. The missing diagonal sums to the middle term. We have to just keep that in mind as we start working with it. It multiplies the product, blah, blah, blah. It keeps going. We know how to do those parts. It's just a little different here, so I'm going to do some more with you. Okay. Look at this one. Can we factor something out? Three. Three. Okay. Again, do your long division upside down, but we're going to put it in front so that we can move that three over here. When I factor three out of 9x squared, what do I get? 3x squared. Three. Three. Minus? 2x. Minus, um, what goes in the boxes? Minus 5 and 3x squared. I'm going to go the other way, 3x squared and minus 5. Okay. We have to come up with something that's going to give us a negative 2x in the middle, which tells us we have a negative and a positive, which we kind of do because we're multiplying something times something that's getting us negative 5. I'm going to guess that negative 5 is one of them. 
You could use, I'm using pen right now, but you can see how you can kind of use guess and check on this, right? Yeah. yeah. And then this would be plus one. Is plus one times negative five going to get us negative five? Yeah. Okay. How am I going to get 3x squared? 3x times an x. If I put the negative 5 here and the 3 up here, that's going to give me a negative 15 down mm -hmm. here. Do I need a negative 15? No. I'm going to put the 3x over here then and the x up here. That gives us negative 5x and positive 3x. And then the check is, does it work? Does negative 5x plus 3x give us a negative 2x? Yes. So this is x plus 1 times 3x minus 5. When we just had an x squared in front, you guys kept asking me, does it matter what goes where? And I said, no, it matters now. If we had put this 3x up here and this 5 down here, we would have gotten a term we don't need. And if you're just thinking about it as you're going, you're going to say, oh, wait, I don't need a negative 15. That's never going to get me to a negative 2. Okay? Let's try the next one. Is there anything to factor out? Um, no. No. So there's not going to be anything in front here, and we're dealing with this trinomial. Okay. Where does it take 2x squared go? And the negative 9? And these in the middle, somehow we're going to get them to be 3x. This is negative, and this is positive. What does that tell us? We have one of and one positive. As soon as you know you have a negative here, it tells you there's one negative, one positive. This is positive. That means the positive is going to win. Whatever my negative is, it's, it's closer to 0, and the positive is further from 0. Okay. Um, I know that 3 times 3 equals 9. Sandra, can you get that? So negative 3 times positive 3 would get me negative 9. Why am I going with that instead of 9 times 1? Because you have to find 3x. I have to find 3x, and I'm just guessing that the 3 and the 3 are going to get me closer to it. Okay. <coughs> That's the question. To get 2x squared, I need a 2x times an x. I want the 3 to end up with some number in here that's bigger because this is positive. So whatever happens with these, the positive is going to be the furthest from 0. I'm going to put the 2x up here then because it's going to get us a 6x. That leaves me with x here. What's going to go in here then? Negative 3x. And is it starting to work? Yes. So this is 2x minus 3 and x plus 3. <clears throat> the parenthesis order, like this parenthesis could have been first and this one second. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter, but the way you put them around the square is starting to really matter. Okay. It is 1103. Yeah, I want you guys to try to finish these four over the weekend in pencil so we can fix them if you're wrong. And there's no book work, which I thought we would have, but we're not going to. So if you could get the books put back on the bookcase.